E-E-C-K. We were talking about the uh, Chicago shootings because uh, last night alone they had 13 people shot in in just one of the incidents. And then it, it turns out now that Chicago has more actual murders in number than New York. So not per capita, but in actual number. It's 500 uh, for Chicago, 419 for uh, New York City last year, which is, is staggering. But I got to thinking, those numbers are way below the numbers we used to hear. Because I remember hearing in the late 80s, early 90s, statistics of outrageous numbers of murders in New York City and Chicago and Los Angeles and all over the country. And in New York, it seemed to me it was like 2,600. So we looked it up, and cert- it, it, sure enough, their high, I think their peak was 2,605 murders in 1990 or 1991. So New York City has reduced their murder rate from 2,600 a year to 419 last year. That is a stunning uh, uh, development, I think. I I don't know what's causing it. In fact, experts don't really know what what the cause is, right? Well, there's some disagreement on it. How we've been so successful. Um, Yeah, there's there's some disagreement on it. Um, And it's not just murder, by the way. It's it's crime across the board. Crime across the board. Actually gone down. Yeah, and uh, one of the, there was a, a big uh, article on this in the Economist. I don't know a couple months ago, uh, and it talked about how uh, there's some theories that have been out there for a long time. You know the 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 broken windows theory with Giuliani when he did that, but crime seemed to go around in other cities that didn't do that as well. Is it is is the prevalent theory that we're just nicer now? We're no. just we're just nicer people. No, right? That's we're not. just good to one another, and we understand. It doesn't seem to be that hurting someone else, hurting another human being, is just frankly wrong and it's impolite. Yeah, no. and we become such <laughs> no. a polite society. Yeah, we don't take things that don't belong to us, no. and we don't hurt people. Uh, for no reason. No, I don't or think any so. Reason. No. <laughs> no, actually, one of the big theories they think now is this predictive policing thing, where police uh, organizations how have such solid information and data from the people in the milk bath that they hook the electrodes to. No, and no, no, they that's, have that's, them in that milky bath. That's minority. And then report. the b- little ball drops that's and a, it comes down. Tom Cruise. No, movie. I saw this on a documentary, and then this little no. guy. Uh, pretty boy guy gets the ball and he looks at it and then he does a lot of things on a uh, big screen that's very complicated and they find out where the murder is going to happen. He is pretty, but other than that, you're totally not right. Um, it, it, basically, that was a movie. Uh, so, uh, but they do have these things where they can actually kind of figure out what areas of crime or what areas crime seems to happen more often at what time of the day. And police are able to be dispatched to those areas before the crime happens. You're not busting them for crime. It's not the pre-crime unit, but you're in the area where crime will happen. So it's sort of a deterrent so, because so deterrent you see police presence. Yeah, there's that, there's that commercial you've probably Makes seen sense. from IBM, uh, which talks about this. And you have two, the criminal and the cop both driving somewhere. You don't know where they're going. And the criminal gets out to rob a convenience store. And as he walks to the front, the, the cop is having a coffee while sitting on the hood of his car. And the criminal walks, turns away and... and, and that's a kind of a, obviously an illustration of that point, but that's kind of what they're talking about. Let me ask about. you this. When the cop is driving, you know he's a cop because he's in a uniform. How do you know the criminal is a criminal? Is he wearing a hoodie? Is that how you know he's that's a criminal? He is. That's a good point. Is he wearing a, a hoodie? hoodie? Yeah, that's, he? What he, that's what he had his that's gun That's how you in, know, right? right? They show you that he's... That's what I've heard. I know as white people, that's mm-hmm. what we're taught. That's what you're taught. Just that's target what people in hoodies. Okay. I, okay. Yeah. That's, all you, that's how we've driven crime down so much. Just targeting hoodies. Just hoodie arrest people. everybody in a hoodie. That's weird because I have a lot of hoodies. And have been arrested I've not been targeted yet. Making your call right now. Really? You're calling 911? 911.